Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at an example using the addition rule, pulling data from a table. So let's say that a blood bank catalogs the types of blood given by donors during the last five days. The number of donors who gave each blood type is shown in the table below. So notice that we have types O, A, B, and AB, and then we have the RH type, which is positive and negative. So you can be A positive, A negative, and so on. So we have kind of the types in there like that. So find the probability that a donor selected at random has type O or type A blood. So thinking about whenever we use or, we want to wonder whether our events are mutually exclusive. So here, you cannot have both type O and type A blood. There is no overlap in that. So these two events are mutually exclusive. So the probability of having O type blood or A type blood will just be the probability of O type blood plus the probability of A type blood. So the probability of O type blood will be the number of donors with O type blood, which is 184, out of the total number of donors, which is 409, plus the probability of A type blood will be the total number of donors with A type blood, 164, plus, or out of the total number of donors, which is 409. So let's see, keeping that denominator of 409, 184 plus 164, that will be 348 out of 409. So the probability of having type O or type A blood is 348 out of 409. Okay, so using that same information, let's now look at the probability that a donor selected at random has type B blood or is RH negative. So here, when we're thinking about or, we always have to talk about mutually exclusive or not. Since it is possible to be B negative in your blood type, B blood and RH negative blood are not mutually exclusive events. So the probability of having B type blood or having RH negative type blood will be the probability of B type blood plus the probability of RH negative blood minus the probability of being B negative. So our probability of B type blood will be the number of B donors, 45, out of our total number of donors, 409, plus the number of RH negative donors, which was 65, out of our total number of donors, 409, minus the number of B negative donors, which was eight. So eight out of 409. So doing 45 plus 65 gives us 110 minus eight, we get 102 out of 409 as our probability for having B type blood or being RH negative. All right, guys, that does it for this video on addition rule examples. Catch you in the next one.